low and high hematocrit levels causes and symptoms hematocrit is the percentage of red blood cells in a person's blood low red blood cell levels indicate conditions such as anemia high red blood cell levels could signal polycythemia which can increase a person's chance of developing a blood clot if a person feels stirred dizzy or short of breath a doctor may want to test their hematocrit levels to see if those levels fall into a normal range or not both high and low hemato hematocrit levels can be detrimental to a person's health and can result from a variety of conditions and lifestyle factors watch on to learn more about what this measure of red blood cell volume means symptoms of abnormal levels and what low and high levels might indicate what is hematocrit hematocrit is a measure of the percentage of red blood cells in the body for example if a person has 50 milliliters of red blood cells in 100 milliliter of blood their hematocrit level is 50 percent red blood cells transport oxygen around the body and give blood its characteristics red color in addition to oxygen they also contain hemoglobin a protein that binds to oxygen molecules this allows red blood cells to pick up oxygen from the lungs and deliver it throughout the body Having an adequate amount of red blood cells is essential to keep the body's processes running smoothly. However, the percentage of red blood cells in some, someone's blood can change depending on a variety of lifestyle factors and even environmental changes. According to research, red blood cell counts tend to increase at high altitude. Exercise, particularly strength and training, may also affect hematocrit levels. A 2018 study found that females who participated in 16 weeks of strength exercise had lower levels at the end compared when they started. However, the study had a small sample size of 26 middle-aged sedentary Turkish women. This means that these findings are not necessarily representative of a wider population. Why do doctors test hematocrit levels? There are many conditions that can affect red blood cell production or their life cycle. This can make it difficult for a medical professional to diagnose these conditions. A doctor will use a hematocrit test to confirm whether a person's red blood cell count is affecting a health condition. Doctors usually test hematocrit levels as part of a complete blood count or CBC. A CBC is composed of a range of tests and may include red blood cell count, ready Culocyte count, young red blood cells. An analysis of hemoglobin levels. An anal analysis of red blood cells, including size and shape. White blood cell tests, platelet tests. A doctor will also take into consideration a person's sex, race, and age. It is important to note that certain blood related conditions such as sickle cell anemia affect particular demographic groups at higher rates dehydration can raise hematocrit levels so this test is useful if a doctor suspects severe dehydration is the cause of a person's symptoms a doctor may request frequent hematocrit tests to monitor the effect of 
chemotherapy on person's bone marrow. What are normal hematocrit levels? Normal hematocrit levels are male 41 to 50 percent, female 36 to 48 percent, children 30 to 44 percent depending on their age and sex. Newborn babies have high hematocrit levels and that gradually decrease as they get older. If a person has recently received a blood transfusion, it may affect their results. Additionally, pregnant individuals may have lower levels than usual because the body increases its blood volume during pregnancy. Other factors may push levels into a higher range such as smoking and chronic obstructive pulmonary disease or COPD. Symptoms and causes of low hematocrit levels when a person has low hematocrit levels, they tend to present with the following symptoms pale complexion, weakness, fatigue, low energy, trouble breathing, irregular heartbeat, cold hands or feet. These symptoms also indicate anemia, a condition where hemoglobin levels are lower than normal. Hemoglobin is a protein found in red blood cells that carries oxygen around the body. Mild anemia is treatable and it is particularly common in women. Severe anemia could signal a more serious underlying health condition that requires more extensive treatment. Doctors associate anemia with several health conditions that include nutrient deficiency. A person may lack B12 folate or iron in their diet. Chronic bleeding. This commonly occurs due to digestive tract ulcers, which are source caused by the bacteria H. pylori or chronic use of anti-inflammatory medication such as ibuprofen. Other non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs and aspirin. Many women also experience excessive blood loss from heavy menstrual bleeding. Bone marrow disorder. This includes aplastic anemia which damages stem cells in bone marrow. Cancer. This are are cancers that spread to bone marrow such as leukemia and lymphoma. Kidney failure. Kidney disease can lower the production of red blood cells, reducing hematocrit levels. Thalassemia. When a person has this condition, their body does not produce enough hemoglobin. Sickle cell anemia. This condition changes the shape, shape of red blood cells. These cells die earlier than normal and they also clump together which impairs blood flow. Autoimmune disease. Conditions like rheumatoid arthritis and lupus may reduce red blood cell count. Symptoms and causes of high hematocrit levels. When a person has high hematocrit levels, they tend to present with these symptoms flushed skin, dizziness, vision problems, headaches, enlarged spleen. These symptoms signal polycythemia, a condition where the body produces too many red blood cells. This means blood is thicker and clots more easily. Doctors cannot cure polycythemia, so treatment tends to focus on symptom management. The main goal is to avoid stroke and deep vein thrombosis or DVT, which is a blood clot usually occurring in a deep vein in the leg. In some cases, dehydration causes polycythemia. When a person does not drink enough, their plasma levels drop and this increases the 
proportion of red blood cells in their blood volume a person can lower their blood, red blood cell count by hydrating some conditions that can cause high hematocrit levels include lung or pulmonary disease when the lungs cannot absorb oxygen effectively and oxygen levels drop the body compensates by making more red blood cells one common pulmonary disease causing this is COPD or chronic obstructive pulmonary disease heart disease if the structure of a person's heart reduces its ability to pump blood around the body it can no longer sustain vital organs with oxygen to try and overcome the oxygen deficit the body produces more red blood cells kidney cancer sometimes kidney cancer cells create more erythro poitin erythropoietin erythropoietin is a hormone that tells the bone marrow to create more red blood cells genetic disease the jak2 gene which controls the number of blood cells made in the bone marrow can affect certain conditions when someone has a mutated jak2 gene the body could make a protein that signals the bone marrow to create more red blood cells than it needs contacting a doctor a person should speak with a doctor if they are experiencing any of the symptoms listed above the video that could be a sign of high or low hematocrit levels including fatigue weakness vision problems and dizziness these symptoms can also indicate an underlying condition so it is important that a person contact a doctor in a timely manner to prevent future complications if a person is receiving chemotherapy treatment a doctor should perform regular hematocrit tests to monitor bone marrow health